Hello everyone and welcome to batch 199 in the freeze dryer. What we have here is everything left over from our Thanksgiving dinner. This was what was left, most of what was left on the dessert table. So we had a whole pumpkin pie. That's now freeze dried. Normally I don't do snacky things, but I wasn't going to throw all this out. We have a pumpkin pie cheesecake that was actually quite delicious, but everybody was so full, nobody even tried it. So here's a tiny piece stuck to the side. Do you want to try it or let me try it? You don't like pumpkin. Um, cheesecake, I've always known cheesecake freeze dries very well, and that tastes just like pumpkin cheesecake. When you freeze dry, nothing tastes different. It just tastes more intense. This was an Aldi cheesecake sampler. I bought three of those. We cut one. <laughs> and so I still have another one in the freezer to freeze dry. There wasn't really enough space. What I do when I do the, the um, cheesecake is that's one piece. And I cut it in half. Not only does it help it freeze dry better because it's slightly smaller, but I just want it to, you know, I'll pack it up that way. I mean, you don't need a huge piece of cheesecake, right? And uh, more cheesecake. I It gave a list on the box of all the different types. I don't know what they were. I'm pretty sure that one's the vanilla right there. That's the New York turtle. I don't know what the other ones are, so they're just getting labeled miscellaneous cheesecake. And my, I used to make pumpkin roll, then my sister started making it, and um, this is my first time ever trying to freeze dry it, because quite honestly, this is the first time we ever had any left. So, even though my husband doesn't like pumpkin, he likes pumpkin roll, so we're going to try freeze dried pumpkin roll. That's huge. You want to break that in half and we'll share that piece? because I want to keep out these other little pieces for my son to try and my sister, who I will see later. Wow. You know what? I feel like the pumpkin taste is more intense after it's freeze-dried. Can you taste more pumpkin now than mm. you do? Mm. Pretty good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... That's it, batch 199, and here's the specifics. Uh, that's everything that I had freeze-dried. I let the freeze-dryer run for 92 hours and 40 minutes. 57 hours of that was added time, and that's because this, was, this is Monday morning, and my grandson was here, so we do different stuff. We don't generally freeze dry. Although I think this is one load he'd like to taste test at all. But all of this four trays really should have taken only 35 hours and 40 minutes to freeze dry. And once again, this is my batch number. That's the date. That's the time I put it in. And then that's the cycle right there. So that's it. Batch 199 in the freeze dryer, and let me know what you think of freeze dried cheesecake. And of course, let me know in the comments what did you prep today.